Where is he? Pick up the phone. Tom, this is Jane. Where are you? You know today is the day. If you don't get here soon, you're going to blow the whole thing. Call me back as soon as you get this. Now who can that be? Hello, Jane. What are you doing here? That's no way to greet your best friend. I'm sorry, Claire. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that today is not a good day. Why not? I've got some important business to deal with. Well, what's that? It doesn't matter. Anyway, it's nice to see you. <laughs> it's nice to see you too. I have some great news to tell you. Now? Of course now. Couldn't it wait? No, it can't wait. It's very exciting. I haven't even told Tom yet. <laughs> well, don't you think you ought to run along and tell him then? <laughs> what's the matter with you? Nothing, there's nothing the matter. Excuse me a moment, I need to take this. Hello? Yes, this is Jane. Oh, hello, William. It's so good to hear from you. How long has it been? I know, I haven't seen you since the reading of the will. Today, of course I remember today is the day. Yes, I've got the paperwork ready. What time did you say you would be here? Right, of course. Yes, I'll sign the paperwork as soon as you make sure everything is in order. My husband? Oh, right, yes, yes, of course my husband will be here to sign the paperwork as well. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Now, what was that news you had to tell me? Just a second. Who are you talking to on the phone? Oh, that was no one. Didn't sound like no one to me. <laughs> Actually, it was a little someone. Who was it? That was William. William? Who? William, my uncle's lawyer. Oh. Wait, which uncle would that be? Uh, my uncle Bill, the one who passed away about nine months ago. It was all so sudden. I didn't have time to say goodbye or attend the funeral. My mother called me to tell me he was gone one day, and the next they buried him. Oh. Well, what they want? Nothing. He's dead. Not your uncle. Your uncle's lawyer. Oh. Right, it, he didn't want anything. But didn't he say he was coming here today? Yes, he did. And didn't I hear you mention something about a husband? <laughs> did <laughs> you? Yes, you said your husband would be here as well. So I did. Um, excuse me for a moment, I need to make a quick phone call. Oh, damn it, went straight to voicemail. Hi, this is Jane again. Where are you? The moment of truth has arrived. You need to get here immediately. Please call me back. Now, uh, where were we? I think we were at the part about you saying your husband would be here as well. Oh, right. Well? Well what? Why did you say your husband would be here as well? Uh, because he will be. But you don't have a husband! Do you? <laughs> no, not really. What do you mean, not really? I mean, not a real husband. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, you scare me for a minute. I mean, I am your best friend. I hope you would tell me if you had a husband. Funny you should say that. Now, what kind of husband do you have? A uh, pretend one. Why would you need a pretend husband? It's a long story. <laughs> uh, did you give me the short version? Well, you see, my uncle left me a little something in his will. A little something? It's actually more like a big something. How big? Oh, uh, a million dollars big. <laughs> that is big! Anyway, in order to get the money, he put a stipulation in his will that said I had to be married for six months before I would get the inheritance. <laughs> but you are not! Married. Not technically, no. <laughs> what do you mean, not technically? I mean, I'm not technically married, but kind of, sort of married. <laughs> kind of, sort of married how? Well, I may have made up a husband. Why would you do that? I can think of a million reasons why. Good point. Wait, but didn't I hear your attorney would be here today? Yes. And didn't I hear you 
say that you need your husband to sign the documents? Yes. But how is your pretend husband going to sign the documents? Well, it's actually a bit more than a pretend husband. How so? I mean, my pretend husband is actually a real person. Now, excuse me for one more moment. Damn it, Tom, our chickens are coming home to roost. Who the hell do you keep calling? My pretend husband. Your pretend husband, Tom. Yes. Tom who? Oh, just Tom. You don't know him. Huh. That's strange. My husband's named Tom, and your pretend husband's named Tom. Not as strange as you might think. What? I said, could I get you a drink? Oh, oh no. I can't have a drink. That better be my husband. Uh, Claire, would you mind waiting in the kitchen while me and my husband go over the details? Your husband? I mean, my pretend husband. Oh, right. <laughs> Hello, Jane. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? It's Paul. Paul who? You know, Paul. Paul. No, your ex-boyfriend, Paul. Paul? Yes, that Paul. The Paul who used to live here. The Paul who used to date. The Paul who used to love. I thought you still loved him. I do. He's the one who left me, remember? Yes, I remember. He broke your heart. You didn't eat for days. Well, except for that gallon of ice cream. And that box of O's. And that pan of brownies. What the hell is he doing here? Why don't you let him in and find out? I can't. Not now. Not today. So you can leave him standing out there. Just wait in the kitchen while I find out what he wants and get rid of him so I can get on with getting the money. doing here? I really need to talk to you. Today? Yesterday. It's important. Couldn't it wait? No, it cannot wait. It's about us. You told me there was no us when you walked out on me eight months, three weeks, and two days ago. I know I did, Jean, but I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. And? And I've decided that I can't live without you. Really? I know you said before that you were working on your career, and I know I said I can't have a woman who puts her career before our relationship, and I may have said I never wanted to see you again after you turned down my marriage proposal for the third time, but... <laughs> but what? But I was a fool. If you need time to work on your career, I completely understand. All I know is that without you, I am nothing. I need you back in my life. Oh, Paul! I've been going crazy these past few months. I can't believe I ever let you go. Please take me back. I will. I will. I've missed you so much. It feels so good to have you hold me again. I'm sorry I ever walked out on you, Jane. Please forgive me. I do. I do. I think that we were better together. I think so, too. Will you marry me? I will! I will! You will? Oh, yes! Uh, no! <laughs> I mean, I will, but now it's not really a good time. Uh, why not? Uh, Paul, this is difficult to explain. Oh, no, you're, you're not seeing someone else, are you? Uh, no, no, it's nothing like that. It's just that today is really not a good day. Why not? Uh, I haven't got time to explain. Please know that I love you, but you've got to go. But I just got back. Please, Paul. Oh no, it is another man. You're just trying to get rid of me so I don't see him. Really, Paul, there's no one else. Why don't you run along now? But, Jane, I just got back. Paul, please, would you just leave for just a few days? Oh no, it is another man. Someone else is taking your hand in marriage, and I'm too late to win you back. I'm sorry, Jane. <laughs> No, Paul, you're not too late. I love you, and I want to marry you, but right now, you've got to go. But if you still love me and want to marry me, why should I go anywhere? Please, Paul. 
No, Jane. I've walked down on you before, and I'm not doing it again. Just for a few days. No, not even for one day. Now, I am going to go home and gather my things. Uh, you're going? Yes, I am going to gather all my clothes and then move back in here immediately. And then you and I can work on rekindling our relationship. We will? Of course we will. I'll be right back, my love. I'll be waiting for you. Oh my god. Claire, can I speak with you for a moment? What is it? Trouble. Trouble where? Trouble here. Uh, how so? Trouble has in Paul. Paul who? Paul, my ex-boyfriend. Paul who left me eight months ago. Paul who now wants me back. Paul who now wants to marry me. Paul who's going to go get his things. Paul who's moving back in here right now. Paul wants to marry you? That's great. Yes, that's great. But did you hear the rest of what I said? Yes, you said Paul who's going to get his things and is coming back here right now. <laughs> oh god, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, what's he going to say when he comes back and your husband's here? I don't know. But we've got to think of something. He'll be back in a few moments. Now, start thinking. I've got it. We just tell Paul the whole thing, and he can pretend to be your husband instead of this Tom guy. Are you nuts? He'll never believe it. Besides, I don't want him to know about the money just yet. Oh, what are we going to do? We can't have Paul thinking I have another husband. Maybe Paul will be gone by, uh, he'll be gone by the time Paul gets back, and you won't explain anything to Paul. Let's hope so. By the way, where is your husband? That's a good question. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, Jane. Claire! What is it now? It's William. William? I thought you said he died. William, the attorney? Oh. Wait, what's he doing here already? I have no idea. Why don't you let him in and find out? I can't. Why not? Because my husband's not here. So you're going to leave him standing out there until your husband arrives? <laughs> you know, that's not a bad idea. <sighs> no, that'll never work. I've got it. We'll just have William wait in the dining room until my husband arrives. <sighs> I'll have to think of something to stall him until then. In the meantime, could you help me out? Me? Yes, you. We are best friends, aren't we? Isn't Paul your best friend now? Never mind, just help me out and go along with whatever I say, okay? Okay. Hello, William. Hello, Jane. I'm sorry about the door. I was just so shocked to see you so soon. Uh, come in. I'd like you to meet my sister. I didn't know you had a sister. In-law. She's my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law? Yes. This is Tom's sister. Tom's sister, Tom's sister Claire. Oh, right, uh, Tom's sister Claire. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Now, William, what are you doing here already? Well, I thought I'd stop in a little early to check on things. Uh, whatever for? Just to make sure there isn't anything funny going on. Why would there be anything funny going on? Jane, I'm a lawyer. There's always something funny going on. <laughs> Where is he, by the way? Uh, where is who? Your husband. Oh, uh, he is not here at the moment. Well, where is he? You told me he would be here. Oh, uh, he will be. He just had to step out for a moment. Step out where? Who the hell knows? What? She said he had to run to Lowe's. Yes, that's right. We're doing a little remodeling in the upstairs bathroom. He had to run and get something for his pipes. I mean, the pipes. He'll be back in a moment. In the meantime, why don't you get set up in the dining room and we'll join you in a minute to sign those papers. Okay, but don't be long. I have many appointments today. Great. What are we going to do? We? Yes, we. We are best friends, aren't we? Aren't I your sister-in-law? <laughs> Never mind. Just help me figure this out. Right. What are you, I mean we, going to do? I don't know. We've got to come up with a husband, and we've got to come up with one fast. <laughs> Where are we going to come up with a husband? Let me think. Let's see. 
we can't use my husband because we can't get a hold of him. We can't use Paul because then we have to explain everything to him and that could take hours. Besides the fact that we don't know when he's coming back. Uh, what about my husband, Tom? I'm sure we can tell him all about it and he go along with it. Funny you should say that. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. There's always the neighbor's husband, but then we'd have to explain everything to him and he might want some of the money. I've got it. You do? Yes. You're going to help me out. Me? Yes. You. How so? You're going to be my husband. <laughs> I'm going to be whose husband? Mine. Yours. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Please, Claire. But why me? You're the only one here. Who else could it be? Someone other than me? <laughs> Claire, I really need your help. I'm sorry, Jane. I won't do it. But Claire, forget it. There is no way I'm going to be your husband. Not even for $10,000? Not even for... What? That's right. <laughs> if you help me out, I'll give you $10,000. $10,000? Yes. Now will you help me out or not? I guess so. Then you better be my husband. Fine. I'll be your husband. Am I still your sister-in-law? No, you're just my husband. <sighs> this is one busy place. This is no time for jokes. Sorry. What do you want me to do? Go and find something to wear and get out here immediately and start acting like my husband. Where am I going to find something to wear? I don't know. Oh, wait, I think some of Paul's old things are in one of the closets. Who's Paul? Uh, my ex-boyfriend, who's now my fiance. Right. Things change quickly around here. Never mind, just go and get ready. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Jane, I'm just about ready for you. Is your husband back yet? Yes, uh, actually, he just arrived. Really? Well, where is he? Oh, she's, uh, he's just uh, getting ready at the moment. <laughs> well, would you two kindly hurry up so we can get on with it? Yes, we'll be right in. Aren't you gonna get that? Get what? The door, the doorbell is right. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Now I did. Well, aren't you gonna go get it? <laughs> no. Why not? Oh, it's probably just some Girl Scouts trying to sell cookies. Really? Oh, yes, but I've already told them no. Quite persistent, aren't they? <sighs> yes, they are. I told you I'm not interested! <laughs> I don't think they took the hint. <sighs> William, why don't you just wait in the dining room for uh, Tom and I and we'll be right in. Damn it, Tom, if that's you, you're going to be in a world of hurt. I'm back. So soon? <laughs> that was quick. Uh, I only live like five minutes away. Besides, I had everything packed. All I had to do was throw it in the car. Yes, of course you did. Quite the planner, aren't you? Uh, why did you slam the door in my face? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, Paul. I thought you were someone else. Really? Who? Jehovah's Witnesses. Why? Oh, they've been knocking on our doors all week, trying to get us to join their little trying to trying to get us to join their religious group. I keep telling them no, but they won't take the hint. Well, next time they come around, you let me have a word with them. Uh, now, I brought some of my stuff. Uh, you and I can get the rest later. Uh, should I put it in our room? Uh, yes. Why don't you do that? And be sure to take your time and make sure everything gets put exactly where it's supposed to. And don't come out until you're finished. Hey, babe! <laughs> Who is this? This is my pool boy. Your pool boy? My pool boy, Pedro? Pedro? Yes, Pedro. Me, Pedro. Yes, very good, Pedro. Pedro doesn't speak any English. He's from Mexico. But he just said, hey, babe. <laughs> oh, I just taught him that. I'm trying to teach him a few lines so he can pick up the ladies, but that's all the English he knows. Isn't that right, Pedro? Uh, oui! That's all the French he knows, too. <laughs> that's uh, interesting. A Mexican speaking French. 
Yes, well, Pedro is a very interesting person. Pedro, why don't you go outside and check on the pool? The pool. Yes, uh, Pedro, outside, now. Outside? Get out there. Okie dokie. Where were we? Uh, Jane, do you have something you need to tell me? I don't think so. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Jane, you don't have a pool. <laughs> I don't? No, you don't. <laughs> so I don't. Um, if you'll just go and get your things put away. Why would you need a pool boy if you don't have a pool? Well, uh, you see, I figured I'd try out the pool boy before I got the pool. <laughs> no use getting a pool if you can't find a competent pool boy to take care of it. So if everything works out with Pedro, I should be getting that pool in no time. Oh, I see. It's him, isn't it? <laughs> him? Who? He's the man you've been seeing. Pedro? No! Oh, no. Jane, I was... I was right. I'm too late to win you back. Someone else is already taking your hand in marriage. Uh, Jane, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Were you afraid it would break my heart? Well, you're right. It has. I'm getting my things and I'm leaving. Uh, no, Paul, wait. Let me explain. I don't think there's anything for you to explain. If you're happy with him, then so be it. Paul, trust me. There is nothing going on between her and him and me. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Oh, thank God, I've never seen a worse man for you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, why don't you go and get your things put away, and I'll join you in a minute. Uh, right away, honey. <sighs> Pedro! Pedro? Pedro, no, here! I mean, Tom. Tom? Tom, my husband. Oh, your husband's not here. <laughs> oh, right. What the heck was that all about me being a pool boy? <laughs> well, I couldn't tell Paul what you're really doing here now, could I? Good point. William is waiting for us in the dining room. Let's just get this over with. Now remember, you're my husband, Tom. That is, until you see Paul. Then, you're my pool boy, Pedro. Got all that? I think so. I am no longer your sister-in-law, Claire, but your husband, Pedro. Exactly. Uh, no. <laughs> you're my husband, Tom, when William is around, but when Paul is around, you're my pool boy, Pedro. Okay, let me try this again. I am Tom for William and Pedro for Paul, but Claire for no one. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Sounds easy enough. <sighs> Jane, I don't know. Oh, you must be Tom. Must I? Yes, you must. This is my husband, Tom. Right, her husband, Tom. Isn't that right? Sweet cheeks. Oh, yes, that's right. We're just two lovebirds so madly in love. I hope this doesn't take too long, William. You see, Jane and I are hoping to spend a little evening alone together. We were? Oh, you're such a kidder. You see, Jane and I are hoping to spend all day in bed doing, well, you know what. Tom, I am sure William does not care about what we were planning on doing. Why don't we go in the dining room and sign those papers? Right. I'm sorry to have taken long, William. You see, I had to run out for a moment to get a little fitting for my pipe. Uh, what? An extension for my pipe, because Jane said it wasn't long enough. I beg your pardon. He means we're doing some remodeling in the bathroom, and he needed to get an extension for the bathroom pipes. Can we please just go in the dining room and sign those papers? Is it those damn Girl Scouts again? Yes, it <laughs> must be. Uh, Tom, why don't you take William into the dining room and get us started on those papers while I get rid of whoever's at the door? Right. Don't be long, babe. Come on, William. I'm sorry, I got here as soon as I could. I, I ran into a little car trouble. Oh no. I, I hope I'm not too late. Not now. But you specifically said today was the day. It doesn't matter. But you left me like, what, three messages? You sounded quite panicked. Shh. Why are you shushing me? Look, could you come back at another time? But I'm ready to be your husband. Shut up. 
hey, that's no way to talk to your husband. Damn it, Tom! Hey, if you're not going to be a little bit more nicer to me, you, you can forget the whole thing. For God's sake, Tom! Hey, for the last time, stop yelling at me! Jane, are you coming? Oh, you must be William. I'm Jane's husband, Tom. Jane's husband? Yep. He's not my husband. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Of course I am. <laughs> William, should we get those papers signed? I'm gonna be sick. <clears throat> What's the matter with him? You idiot! That's not William! Oh! That's William's assistant! You're going to blow everything if you aren't careful. What do you mean? How could you two? How could we what? Wait a minute. Don't I know you? I don't think so. Claire, is that you? No. Yes, it is. What are you doing? You look ridiculous. <laughs> I'll be asking a question around here. What are you doing? What do you mean? I mean, how could you marry my best friend, you jerk? Claire, please. And as for you. I, you've got it all wrong. Oh, I bet I do. I bet you two have been planning this for years. Sneaking around my back like two love-crazed maniacs. All those times he said he was late at the office, now I know what he's really up to. What? What are you talking about? I don't know how you could do this to me. Claire, would you relax? How am I supposed to relax when you just told me my husband went and got married behind my back and now he has two wives? Two wives? You two tiny son of a Claire! Claire. <laughs> how could you do this to me? I thought we were best friends. We are. Oh, so this is how friends treat one another? No, of course not. What's well, it? The gloves are off. It's on now. What's up? Ah! Tom! Do something! I am doing something. I'm watching. Please, Tom! This is great. I haven't seen a cat fight before. Damn it, Tom! <laughs> <sighs> I'm still... Oh, oh uh, if you two are having a domestic disturbance, perhaps I should come back at another time. No, it's fine. We're just playing a little game. Reenacting scenes from our favorite Shakespeare plays. You two are... Acting? I will speak daggers to him, but use none. No, just a sharp knife in the back. Love is blind and lovers cannot see. You got that right. Beware the odds of March. To die or not to die? That's the question. Would you two take the time to stop messing around and come get those papers signed? Yes, William, I think we can do that. Can we? So, you must be William. That indeed I am. I'm Tom. No. You can't be Tom. Why not? Because well, that's Tom. You? That's right. His name is Tom as well. It, it is? Yes, it is. Now, Tom. Strange there being two Toms here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't it? Now, Tom. Well, it's nice meeting you. I'm Jane's husband. I don't feel so well. <laughs> But you can't be her husband. Why not? Because she's also married to him. Him? Yes, that's right. I am married to him. But Jane, what? It doesn't matter. Wait, hold on. Uh, Tom, I am married to that other man who's also named Tom. Got it? I think, wait, hold on, but Jane. I'm sorry, Tom. You'll just have to get over it. <laughs> I've moved on. Wait, moved on from what? From you. You see, Williams, this is my other husband, Tom. Other husband? Yes, my other husband. You have two husbands? Yes, I mean, no. This, <laughs> he's a, my other husband. I meant he's my ex-husband. Isn't that right, Tom? Is it? Of course it is. Right, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm her ex-husband, Tom. Ah, well. Nice to meet you, ex-husband Tom. Yes, um, and it, I'll have you know it's really quite handy with both of them being Tom. Now, William, why don't you wait in the dining room while I deal with Tom? Certainly. Goodness. What the hell was that for? You idiot! You're going to blow everything if you aren't careful. What do you mean? You told me to get here right away. Oh, you're too late. While you were out lolling at your round, William showed up and needed to see my husband, so I had to come up with a different husband. A different husband? Jake, how could you do this to me? Knock it off. 
But Jane, I thought our marriage meant something. Stop it already. Typical. The man turns around for one minute and the woman's already out looking for another man. Enough already. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, wait, hold, wait, wait. Does this mean I'm not getting the $20,000 you promised me? Oh, no, you're still getting the money. Oh, all right. So, who's your new husband? Who do you think? So, wait, so you're telling me you convinced Claire to dress up as a man and pretend to be her husband? Mm. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was in the process of tearing your eyes out. Uh, Claire, what are you doing? Put a sock in it. I'll deal with you after I've dealt with Jane. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to kill my wife. Uh, Claire, please, let me explain. Very well. Explain. Well, uh, you see. Forget it. Get over here so I can uh, kill you. Tom, do something. What the hell do you want me to do? Start explaining. Claire, would you just relax and, and let Jane explain? Fine. But if it's not good, you better get ready to die. Okay. Now, uh, where do I start? The beginning would be a very good place. All right, um, as you know, my uncle passed away about nine months ago. You're starting at nine months ago? How about you get to the part about marrying my husband? Do you want an explanation or not? Yes? Then stop interrupting me and listen. As you know, my uncle passed away about nine months ago and left me in his will. I was to inherit one million dollars but only if I were married for six months. After six months was up, his lawyer, William, was instructed to give me the money after he checked out all the paperwork and made sure everything was legit. But why would your uncle do that to you? Because apparently he thought I would never settle down and I would end up an old spinster. So he set this whole thing up to make sure that didn't happen. How dare him. So anyway, because of that small stipulation, I needed to come up with a husband and Tom, graciously helped me out. I bet he did. So, <laughs> your husband is my husband. How dare you marry my husband, you two-timing son of a- Claire, would you just calm down? How could you marry my best friend? Claire, would you just let her finish? And as for you, stealing my husband away from me? Would you be quiet for one minute and let me finish? Fine, you got one minute. I'm not really married to your husband. But you just said you were. I know what I said. Zip it for one minute. Tom and I are only pretending to be married in order to get the million dollars. Pretending how? Well, I mean, we forged all the documents, uh, cropped some photos, made up some big wedding invitations, uh, basically anything we could think of in order to pretend to be married. Well, couldn't you have found a husband that wasn't already married? And where would I find a husband? Craigslist? <laughs> <laughs> there is a little something in this for you and Tom. What do you mean? This is where your lucky day begins. I told Tom that if he would pretend to be my husband, I would give him $20,000. You mean? That's right. <laughs> you and my husband are getting $20,000. Me and your husband? I mean, you and your husband. And it's $30,000, by the way. Is it? Didn't you just tell me you give me $10,000 for pretending to be your husband? Yes, I did. So with the $20,000 you're giving Tom, that's $30,000. <laughs> but he's not my husband anymore. Do you want my help or not? I guess I do. So it's $30,000. Or not? I guess it is. <sighs> Wait, why am I only getting $10,000 and he's getting $20,000? <laughs> because he was smart and asked for more. <sighs> Very good, Song. But why the hell wouldn't you two tell me before? Well, we kind of wanted to keep it a surprise. <sighs> well, you sure as hell surprised me. I don't know if I can ever forgive you for marrying my husband. Would $30,000 do the trick? That would be a very good start. I've been thinking. Uh, what is it, William? Uh, no, thank you. Tom? Yeah? Uh, Jane's ex-husband, Tom. Tom? Oh. Wait. Ex-husband? <laughs> that, that's right. Didn't you know this is Jane's ex-husband, Tom? It is. That's right. And his name is Tom as well. 
<coughs> oh no, what happened? Uh, who the hell knows? What? I, I, nothing. I'm sure she'll, uh, he'll be fine. Do you think we should get a doctor? I don't. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I don't <laughs> think we should move him. Besides, the hospital might find something we don't want them to find. Why? What? <laughs> I can think of a, a couple of things. What do you mean? <laughs> he means he means <coughs> really bad news, and we wouldn't want that today. Yes, but if he has a serious condition, he may need to get to the hospital immediately. But if he's really sick, we might not have time to get him to the hospital. That's true. We should call 911. Uh, no! <laughs> Jane, I think you need to be a little more concerned with your husband's condition. Oh, I, I am serious. I just don't think 911 is the best option. Well, what other option do we have? <laughs> oh, I know. My neighbor is a nurse. Really? Why didn't you say so sooner? Oh, it must have slipped my mind in all the excitement. Uh, Tom, would you mind running next door and getting Judy? Who's Judy? The nurse. If you just go and get Judy, we can have her check up on Tom. Got it. Uh, I'll be right back then. Uh, 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 Tom. Yes? Be sure to explain to her everything that's going on here. Everything? Yes, everything. <sighs> you might want to offer her a little something for helping us out. A little something? Uh, maybe five or ten little something. Oh, gotcha. <sighs> uh, William, would you mind helping me get Tom into the bedroom? Certainly. your one and only. I don't like to talk about it. It was such an awful stage in my life that I now know it was a mistake. It only lasted a short while. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Paul. Uh, why don't you just wait in the bedroom while I sort things out out here? But Jane... Uh, no buts! Paul, let's not speak another word of it. It brings back such bad memories. <laughs> it was terrible, I tell you. Terrible. I just can't deal with the heartache right now. I'm sorry, Jean. I, I, I didn't know. Now you know why I didn't tell you. I uh, guess so. I'm sorry for bringing up the past. You ought to be. Please just go back to the bedroom. Okay. Hold on, just a minute. Who is this? It's nobody. <laughs> I'm not nobody. I'm Paul. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Paul. What were you doing in Jane's bedroom? Oh, uh, I'm her fiance. <laughs> okay. Her what? Her fiance. But you can't be her fiancé. Why not? Because she's married to him. Uh, I thought that was the pool boy. Is he? Isn't that what you told me before? Did I? Yes, you did. <laughs> You're married to the pool boy? No, of course not. <laughs> Paul, uh, why don't you uh, wait in the bedroom and I'll be right in to explain everything once I work out what's going on up here and then you and I can work things out. I don't think there's anything for you and I to work out. Please, Paul, I'll be right in to explain everything. Do, do you mean to explain to me that I'm too late and you and I can never be? No, Paul, no, please, I'm begging you. Fine, I'll just be in here trying to mend my broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, where were we? Uh, it was something about old Tom here having fainted. Oh. Um, oh, I, I think he's coming around. Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, yes, of course he is. Uh, no, he's not. Uh, Tom, you're coming around, aren't you? No, he's not. Uh, Tom, are you in there? Tom! Mayday! Mayday! 
Uh, I told you so. And uh, we should probably get some, someone to look at him. Uh, certainly. Uh, why don't we just get him into the bedroom until the nurse gets here? But I thought you said we shouldn't move him. Oh, well, now I think it would be best if you were to lie down in the bed. Oh, okay, whatever. Which room is yours? Uh, this one over here. Oh, I'll just go get the door real quick. Oh, wait, you can't bring him in there. Why not? Uh, because Paul's in there. <laughs> but you just said this is your room and we should move him in there. Uh, that's right, but um, I, I meant it's my room. Your room? What do you mean? Uh, I mean, uh, me and my husband don't sleep together. That would be absurd. <laughs> really? Why not? <laughs> well, you see, Tom is a terrible snorer. I can't stand to sleep in the same room as him. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. He sounds like a chainsaw when he sleeps. Well, then, which room is his? Uh, this one. Over, that one over there. So we really should be getting him into his own room, because we, he wouldn't, we wouldn't want him to wake up in my room. That would be quite a shock. I guess that makes sense. Yes, and we wouldn't want that, anybody else to agitate him or anything. Yeah. Now, what was going on with that man in your bedroom? Oh, right, uh, well, you see, it's a sad, sad story. <laughs> what is? You see, that man is my brother-in-law. I didn't know you had a brother-in-law. Oh, not many people do. We've been trying to keep it a secret. Why would you want to keep that a secret? Well, you see, he has some rain in his silo. He's a farmer? No, he's not a farmer. Uh, I mean, he's got a few screws loose. Oh, yeah, so he's a carpenter. No, he's not a carpenter either. Follow me here, William. What I'm trying to say is he's crazy. Crazy? Oh, yes, he's utterly insane. Well, how did he get this uh, way? Uh, uh, well, you see, it has to do with the pool boy he was talking about earlier, and that's what drove him over the edge. He was engaged to be married, but his, but his fiance left him for the pool boy, and he was devastated. It drove him mad. Now, every woman he sees is his fiance, and every man a pool boy trying to steal her away from him. How terrible. I know, I know. We've been trying to cure him for years, but he's beyond help. The he's best we can do is try to keep him away from pools. I guess that <laughs> makes sense. He's not dangerous, is he? Oh, no, uh, at this point, only to himself. You see, he's got all these characters running around in his head, and he can't tell anyone who anyone is anymore. It's an awful condition. How sad. Yes, it is. Uh, Willie, we really should be getting Tom to the bedroom now. All right, certainly. Hey, Jane, can you get me a cookie? Really? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Thank you. Just lie him on the bed. Jane? 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 I'll be right back. Just stay with him. But did you get Judy? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Either you did or you didn't. Then I guess I did. Uh, where is she? Uh, uh, she'll be right in, but uh, don't be surprised if it's not the Judy you're expecting. What? It's just, she might look a little different from the last time you saw her. What the hell are you talking about? It's just, it, 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 it doesn't matter. What matters is she's on her way in, she'll be here in a few. Oh, good. Uh, in the meantime, could you give us a hand in the bedroom with Claire? I'm sorry, I can't. I gotta go finish up something. What do you mean you can't? I gotta go finish something I was doing in the kitchen. I gotta go. But Tom! Oh, Jane, are you coming or not? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, uh, do you remember Claire's husband, Tom? Uh, nope, never met him. You didn't? Mm, I remember Claire, but I don't think I ever met her husband. Oh, uh, well, that's a good thing, because this isn't him. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you mention him? Uh, no reason. 
Jane, you've been acting very strange lately. Are you trying to hide something from me? Uh, of course not. It's nothing like that. It's just that for some reason, Tom, I mean, Claire's husband popped into my head and I was wondering if you met him. Uh, Paul, this is Pedro. Pedro? <laughs> I thought that Pedro was your pool boy. Oh, uh, you didn't let me finish. What I mean is this is Pedro's brother, Pablo. Pablo? Oh, does Pablo only speak Spanish and French as well? I beg your pardon? Well, remember, Pedro, he's from Mexico, but he speaks Spanish and French. Oh, right. No, no, no. Uh, Pablo speaks English. Isn't that right, Pablo? <laughs> it's getting good. What? English getting good! Yes, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, Pablo is my interior decorator. Getting better by the minute. What? English getting better by the minute! It certainly <laughs> is. Paul, uh, Pablo's a little <coughs> feminine. That's why he's in the line of work he's in. Isn't that right, Pablo? That's right. You see, he's sort of... Yep, I'm sort of... Sort of what? You know, sort of... Yeah, sort of... You mean... That's right, Pablo is gay. Yep, I'm as gay as gay could be. Wait, I'm what? <laughs> I'm not hiding anything! Oh, you're certainly not now. Uh, you see, Pablo's a little embarrassed about the whole thing. He doesn't want everyone to know. Oh, you damn right I don't! You see, Pablo's been in the closet for quite some time now. He has. Oh, yes, and he just came out. I came out of what closet? Oh, Pablo, you don't have to shout it to everyone. We know. I'm not shouting anything! It's okay, Pablo. If that's what makes you happy, then so be it. We are not here to judge, are we, Paul? No, I'm not judging anyone. Shut up! Why are you getting snippy? There's nothing wrong with it. We accept you for who you are. How could you? Getting <laughs> better by the minutes, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, now, Paul, I mean, Pablo, there's no need to be upset. If that's the way you are, then so, then you should be proud of it. Oh, uh, what? Uh, $20,000 says you should be. What? The $20,000 I'm giving you to redo my guest bedroom. I, uh, what? You lost me. Uh, the $20,000 I'm giving you to redo my guest bedroom. The $20,000 I am not giving you to be anyone's ex-husband. I, I, I think... Oh, all right. <clears throat> uh, the twenty thousand dollars be in tier decorator. Yes. <laughs> now, why don't you get in there and get to work and stay out of the way? All right, I'll just get right in there. All right, thank you, Pedro. Pablo. What? I'm Pablo, Pedro's brother. Oh, right. Thank you, Pablo. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll just get right in here. After all, what I was finished doing in the kitchen. I mean, you weren't doing anything in the kitchen. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. Of course I was. I was doing that estimate. We do your kitchen as well. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. And I think the estimate's going to come out around $20,000. $20,000? I'm not giving you another $20,000. Oh, um, Graham, I, I think you should give them the money. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars is a very good price for a kitchen remodel, and let's be honest, it needs it. Oh, shut up! What are you yelling at me for? I, I, I'm sorry, Paul. I don't mean to yell. Only trying to help. Well, you're not. Just let me deal with this on my own. <sighs> now, uh, about that extra twenty thousand dollars. Do you want me to finish my work? Yes, but then I suggest you give me the money to finish it. Fine. I'll give you the money. All right, I'll just get back to work over here. Yes, you do that. Oh, and Pablo. Yes? For $40,000, your work better be good. Oh, I have a plan, and I think it's going to be fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, where were we? Oh, uh, I just came out to say that I finished putting my things away. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I rearranged some of your clothes so that I could fit mine in your drawers. Is that fine? Uh, no, Paul, that won't do. Why not? We're getting married. We're going to have to share our drawers someday. 
Yes, but I don't want to share my drawers with you today. You'll just have to get back in there and put things back the way I had them. I am very particular about my clothing, and I can't have you rummaging around and putting things all out of order. But then uh, where would I put my clothes then? Uh, you can have the drawers in the walk-in closet, but the drawers in the guest bedroom, I mean, the drawers in the bedroom are mine. Uh, now please uh, get back in there and put things back the way I had them. But that could take forever. <laughs> no, <laughs> you get back in there and do it now, or you can forget about this marriage. I will not have a controlling husband. I'm not controlling. You say that now. First, you'll start by rearranging my undies, and then you'll start telling me what to wear, and finally, you won't even let me leave the house. I would never do that. Then prove it by putting my things back the way I had them. <sighs> Fine. Oh, uh, Jane, I almost forgot. Uh, uh, who was the man that was helping you with the pool boy? Oh, uh, that was just my lawyer. He's helping me go over a few legal documents. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Uh, oh, of course not. Uh, now, if you'll please just get back in there and put things back the way you had them, and don't come out until you're finished. Uh, why does he think that you're married to the pool boy? Oh, uh, that's just a little mix-up I'm trying to work out. Uh, please just put your things back down. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, back to William. Ah! Your husband's come around. What the hell do you think you were doing? I was just trying to help. Okay, who are you, pervert? What is going on? He tried to take off my shirt. No! Was he successful? Hell no! I woke up before he can get his filthy hands on me. Thank goodness. William, what were you doing? <sighs> well, I know you told me to wait for the nurse, but he was burning up, so I unbuttoned his shirt a little well, I attempted to unbutton his shirt a little bit. You knew that we were going to let the nurse deal with him. I know, but she was taking so long, and he was burning up. Well, uh, it appears you were only trying to help, so uh, now that Tom is awake, don't you think we ought to get those papers signed? Oh yes, actually, in all that downtime I had, I had time to review some of the papers, and uh, I realized there was one thing missing. Uh, what's that? Tom's picture ID. Uh, Tom's picture ID? That's right. <laughs> Surely you don't expect me to hand over a million dollars without seeing a picture ID. Uh, I guess we don't. Um, Tom, would you mind running and getting that for William? Where am I gonna find that? What? Uh, he said his current ID makes him look fat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's why I don't want to show it to you. Hmm. Well, you're gonna need to show it to me if you want to get that inheritance. Tom, uh, William, don't you think you can make one little exception? Just this once? Yes, William, just this once. Uh, beg your pardon? <clears throat> uh, just this once, uh, for Jake. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe just this once and just for you, Jane. Oh, thank you. And a date with your sister-in-law, Claire. What? You heard me. I want a date with your sister-in-law, Claire. Uh, but isn't that against your morals? <laughs> what morals? <laughs> then isn't it against the law? Who's going to tell? I guess you're right. Uh, Tom, did you hear that? William wants to go on a date with your sister. My sister? Your sister Claire? Oh, of course! What, you what? There is no way! Tom, if Claire does it, there might be a little something in it for her. It better be a big something for that. It very well could be. Uh, do you think you could set that up for William? You see, that's going to be a bit of a problem. She's sort of seeing someone at the moment. Hmm. How unfortunate. And to think, you two were this close to having that inheritance. Tom, we are this close to getting the inheritance. All Claire has to do is go on a date with William. I'm sorry, Jane. It's just one little date. I think she just decided to see other people. How lucky for you, William. I'll let her know as soon as I see her. Well, that's amazing news. Here is my card. Tell her to give me a call. <laughs> and we can get the whole date set up. Just at your place? That's right, just the two of us. Just the two of us? I mean the two of you? That's right, we can have a nice romantic candlelit dinner, sitting by the warm fire, and we can cuddle up while watching Netflix, and we can eat spaghetti and meatballs. That's my sister you're talking about! 
<laughs> I know, but she's so very sexy, and I so want to... William! <sighs> Sorry. Where is she, by the way? Oh, she's someone else at the moment. What? I, I mean, she's somewhere else at the moment. We'll find her and let her know all about that date. Won't we, Tom? Yes. Not that we'll have much to tell her. Did someone call for a nurse? 